Hi, I'm Tricia from East Marsh Acres and today I'm going to be processing some red peppers. So I thought what I'd do since we have um, a lot is um, I'd make red pepper jelly. Now I've never done this before. Now I'm, I, I'm a competent usually jam maker and uh, so I thought I would try this red pepper jelly. Um, I'd love to I love having that over cream cheese with crackers and so on. And so we're having people, uh, we have to provide a snack um, for Sunday big table. So we, I'm gonna bring that. Um, so I have everything out that we need. Now the recipe I'm using is from the handyhomemaker.com. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's the one that suited what I have and what I think that I can use or do. And, uh, yeah, it has, I'm going to half the recipe though, um, because it makes more than what I want to make. So, um, I have sterilized all my jars and they're sitting there on covered up and ready to go. Um, what I'm going to do, so this is all the ingredients here. So I use a um, food processor to chop up the pepper. So I'm going to, so there's my red peppers. There's my sugar. There's, you need lemon juice, red wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and liquid pectin. So I'm going to, yeah, those are all the ingredients. Oh, and I've got some hot peppers here too. Now in this recipe, they're using um, a hot sauce. I'm just going to use the actual peppers and I'm going to grind them up with the, the sweet peppers. So I don't know what the combination is going to be. I think I'm going to use one and see how that goes and uh because i don't know how hot these peppers are they're jalapeno peppers i believe so i um anyways i'm gonna get started with cutting up the peppers um i'll i'll do that all and then we'll get back to the video so i have cut up some peppers i'll show you how i cut up my peppers um, I put on some gloves because I'm going to be getting to the hot pepper so I just cut off the so first of all they're all been washed because out of the garden they can get a bit dusty and whatever so take the top off take the middle out and then I take the seeds out and this the the, uh, the kind of the the stems in there take those out cut them away and put them here now these are not going to go to the waste because they're going to go all this is going to go to the chickens and chickens can have hot pepper have peppers and their seeds they can also have chili peppers too because um, apparently chili peppers for chickens um, it can keep parasites away and apparently chickens don't have a sophisticated they don't have like the taste buds that we do so they're not going to get offended by hot um, things um, so I've got uh, <clears throat> so the hot pepper one will go in now I'm not a really hot hot fan so that's why I'm only going to put in one and we'll see what the heat value is uh, once we once it's done and then I can make notes uh, of what I used so this recipe uh, I just got to bring it about back on my iPad it was taking six to seven medium to large sweet peppers. So I did about five medium ones. 
Yeah, small to medium. So I think that that's about half of what they're going for. So here's the here's the hot pepper that I'll put in. And so it looks very much like the sweet peppers, except the inside is a little bit more dense. Now apparently you could um, you could leave in some of the some of the seeds, and that will make it hotter. I'm going to not do that, <laughs> just so I can I can tell if, you know what the heat is for one of these. And I will let our chickens get the benefit of these seeds. And uh, so um, there we go. Now I'm going to put them into my food processor. do that. Let's see how I can get you in the picture here of the food processor. Okay. Now, now you might laugh, but um, this is a very old food processor. I've probably had it for 30 years. Um, and the little tab here on here has broken off that that it it negates that like it it's it's a safety thing that when you, once you put it on so it doesn't do that I think that's finely chopped but you know what I think I'm going to going to look at the recipe and see how chopped that they have it in their food processor. Yeah, it looks about that. I think I'm going to give it one little go around first. There, I think that's better. So what I liked about this recipe too is that it uses all of it. Like a lot of them have, have you... Um, draining the juice and I think that's kind of a waste a little bit um, so let's see okay I'm gonna go with this so as you can see this is what I've got it looking like and so the next step is uh, we add the apple cider vinegar and the red wine vinegar. So how much of that each? Let's see. So now we're going to put in uh, we're going to put in a half a cup of red wine vinegar. And I like that it uses, this recipe also uses like different vinegars that have some taste. And I, I, I'm a wine drinker, so uh, I like the idea of having a little bit of vinegar that way. And then I've got some apple cider vinegar, which is another half cup. And that's supposed to be good for you, so let's go with that. And it's fall season, apples. There we go. Okay, so we've added that. Um, now add the water and the sugar. So, water. 
<clears throat> a half a cup of water. So I'll go over here and use our distilled water. Okay, so it's a half a cup of water. And adding the sugar. Okay. So this is like when I'm doing jam. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit different than the jam, but um, this is about how much I put in it. Um, okay, so it says to take out any seeds that you see. So I'm going to do that. I guess it just makes it nicer that there's not a lot of seeds in there. Um, just making it very uniform, I guess, in, in color. So that's not bad. I missed, what, four or five seeds? Oops. Just a couple more. Okay. Now I believe we... We've got to get this to a full rolling boil. Um. Okay, you can see that um, it's at a boil, and it's a boil that when I stir it keeps on boiling. So that's called a rolling boil. So it's got to boil like that for two minutes. So I set the timer. And I'll keep on stirring just this time. I don't want it to, to burn in the bottom. So uh, apparently, um, I think this is going to have some heat to it because I can smell it. So. Um, you mean spiciness? Hmm? You mean spiciness? Yeah, spiciness. Yeah. As opposed to, so it's maybe a hot sweet pepper jelly. I don't know. We'll see. I may just give the tang that I it needs or whatever. So, so after this two minutes is up, we're gonna let it sit for 15 minutes and stir occasionally during that 15 minutes. And what it does apparently to the um, recipe, it says it just lets the peppers cook a little bit more without having the possibility of it burning. So, um, so once the timer is gone, I will set it aside for 15 minutes and I'll have a cup of coffee and uh, get back to it and then you can see what it looks like and what the next steps are. Okay, so we're getting there to the two minutes and I think I'm going to like yeah, if this is good, then I might make another another batch. I also want to make some um, salsa, so peppers will go in that as well, too. Okay, that's the end of that. So I'm going to turn it off and just let it sit for 15 minutes. So, um, yeah, I'll get back to you. Okay, um, this has been sitting for 15 minutes. A little bit more while I had my coffee. Now I'm going to turn it on and we're going to bring it to a boil again. Uh, what I'm going to do first is add the quarter cup of lemon juice. So apparently we do that. It's looking really nice, like the, the color is really nice and red. And uh, it smells really good too. So we're going to bring that to a, a boil and then let it boil for two minutes. Okay, so this is boiling now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the liquid pectin.
and then I'm going to let that boil for two minutes. Okay, so this has boiled uh, with the pectin and I'm just going to stir it a little bit, cool it down a little bit and then I'm going to put it in the jars and hopefully it will set up for some jelly. So I have the jars here all waiting and they're sterilized. I'll use the small ones first and I have my handy dandy little thing there. Now I'm going to take it out here. It's a little bit of headspace there. Well, looks like jelly. Hopefully it'll set up. Just enough for these ones. There we go. Okay. Get all that goodness in there. be setting up what's going against the pot so hopefully that will set up nicely. Okay now I'm gonna don't think I got any around the edges so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wipe the edges make sure didn't do. Well, maybe I can do it from here. I want to taste it to see how hot it became. So I can use that to put these on. And I am going to can them, but I think I'm going to put together a chili recipe. And then I can, can uh, let me check from here. <laughs> and you'll be able to see my face as to how, how I like it.
Hmm. Okay. It is, for me, not liking a real heat. It's sweet. It's tangy. I don't think it's hot at all. Um, so I think someone that would want to have a little bit more zing to it might want to put in a little bit more um, hot pepper. But for me, I love it. <laughs> so hopefully it sets up. I'll let you know how the finished product shows um, once it sits there for a while. Uh, tomorrow morning I'll know too if they set up um, and I can well I'll see if I do another recipe and then I can can more otherwise I will can them and we'll see tomorrow morning see if they set up thanks for being with me in my kitchen at East Marsh Acres and uh, yeah learning how to process some of our produce from the garden Take care. Hi there, uh, it's Trisha from East Mars Shakers, and uh, yeah, it's the next day after making the pepper jelly. And I just wanted to show you how it turned out. So I've got this much done. So that's how much it made. Now, three of the jars close by themselves, so I don't have to can it, and I'm going to keep this one in the refrigerator. You can see that that is not done, but I'm going to use that right away. Now, you can see it. So you can see it's, it's jelly, but it has some, some give to it, which is kind of what you want, because you're going to be putting it as a dip onto like cheese, um, cream cheese or something like that. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, it's not too hot for the amount of jalapenos that I put into it. Um, most people might want it a little hotter. Um, and just to show you too, what I worked on this morning is I made a pot of um, salsa. So I will bottle that up uh, as well, and uh, I'll probably freeze it in bags instead of canning it, um, because, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to try it that way. Anyways, thanks for joining me in my red pepper jelly journey, journey. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.